everyone. Welcome to the So Fancy YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to make scratch off stickers um, using the Cricut Design Space application and the Cricut Maker. Uh, you could obviously follow along in using the Explorer as well. You would just need to adjust, you know, for your machine and some of the functions are not the same uh, with the Maker. But we're basically going to be using uh, print and cut and also uh, just learning how to manipulate and create your own layout in design space. Okay, so I've uploaded this, this design. It is called the Popsicle Bundle. Uh, very cute designs here for summer. And uh, I love the little flowers and the different muted um, colors. And we're going to create a scratch off ticket um, card that is, you could use for such a, a birthday, a bridal shower, a baby shower, uh, pretty much anything. Mother's Day, this would be a really cute idea too. Um, so I only want to use this design right here, which is grouped with all of these other ones. This is a very large file. So let's first select all of it and just click ungroup. It may take a moment. Uh, mine's going pretty fast because I have everything else closed at the moment, but yours might take a little bit longer if you're using this file. It is part of the So Fancy Must Have Summer Bundle, which you can find in the bundles section on the website and the link below. And that includes not only these popsicle monograms, these split monograms, it also includes uh, six fonts. We're going to be using one of the fonts for this project too. It's called Lemon Day. Very cute sans serif font. And it has uh, 122 total SVG cut files. So you can get all of those in the must have summer bundle. Like I said, link below. Okay, so let's get to work. So I would just like to use this design. So let's just select that and grab it and move it over here. And then let's select everything else and we're going to delete it. We don't need any of those other items. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this by itself is 4.38 inches. I'm going to make this a total of two and a quarter inches, and I'll show you why in a little bit. I know that looks very small, but once we, um, let's zoom in a little bit because I'm using a very large screen, uh, you'll see that we are going to make a card and I only want it to be four by six. So go to shapes, let's select a square. And then go down here in the corner of the square and unlock it. Okay, so this square, I would like it to be four inches wide by six inches tall. Okay, hi. Um, and I would like it to just be white because we are not, we, we aren't going to um, see this as the background. I mean, you could change it to like a light pink or a light one of these material colors, uh, but I'm just going to keep it white. Okay, now the popsicle monogram, you can, you know, kind of see that there's a lot of pieces here. So if you just want to uh, click the arrow to close that, it's easier to see the layers. Let's put the popsicle monograms above the square. Okay, so I basically want to have six of these popsicles. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here first and because I don't need all of these cut, which is what you see right now are the cut lines. I'm going to uh, make sure it's selected and then go down here to flatten. Okay, so watch what happens to the design. It takes all the cut lines off. Now it knows that we are just going to print this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it two times. So we have these three, one, two, three popsicles. Um, we want to go to align and let's uh, just align them vertically. Um, and then what I'm going to do is kind of just use my uh, shift and arrow key and move the, and or just the arrow key, move it over a little bit, move the middle one over as well, kind of eyeball it for right now. Now we're going to select all three of these and go back to align and do distribute horizontally. So that makes the space in between them equal. Then go to a line just to make sure. I like to do like a line top. So that means all of these top edges are in the same place. Okay, so these three look perfect. Um, so I would like to group those together 
and then I'm going to click flatten because we are going to flatten all of these together as we work. But we have three. Now we're going to duplicate it because I would like to have six. These are going to be our scratch off areas. The little circles are where we will put our um, our little saying or, you know, you win, try again. Those are the things I'm going to use. Okay, so let's grab both of these and let's align these together. So let's align them center vertically. Um, that means that they are all, uh, it, you know, lined up together. We have both the same margins on the side. In the bottom, there's not really a margin. So I'm just going to nudge this up a little bit, just using the arrow key once. Okay, with those two selected, click flatten again. Uh, that means that these designs are ready to be printed. I want them to print exactly as is. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of text. Um, I'm going to just put in something very basic. Scratch to win. Um, and that text, um, let's see, my text is kind of not working at the moment. <laughs> Uh, just give me a minute. I think it's just catching up from that flatten that it had to do. All right, let's click off there. My text is just kind of hanging here for a moment. Hold just a one moment and we will fix that. Okay, so we have our text here, which is scratch to win. I'm going to select all of that and uh, go over here to font. And I'm going to type in the font that I'm going to use, which is lemon day. Um, that's this one right here. And I am going to leave it in all caps because I like how it looks like that. Um, I have the letter space to one point. I'm just going to change it to one. And then I'm going to move this here to see where I'd like it to line up on my page. Uh, let's see. Move it over a little bit. Stretch it out just a tad bit. Um, I'm going to select the text. And I'm going to select the square and then I'm going to go to align and do center horizontally. So it puts it right in the middle. Okay, click off of there. Now go to the scratch to win. I would like to change this color. So it's one of the colors that are inside of this design. Really nice thing about Cricut is that it brings in the material colors for your um, project too. So I'm going to select, I think this green one here. Um, this darker green. Okay, so with that selected, I also would like to just give this a little bit of a curve. So click on curve and it looks like it's good around there, 8.2. Let's nudge it. Let's nudge the mount. Well, okay, that looks good. So it's a little too close. So I'm just going to move it up here again. Select the background again, align. This is how I make sure everything stays aligned. Okay, now the text here is set to cut. We don't want to cut that. So go over to flatten here in the bottom corner and click on flatten. Now see, all of this here is going to be printed, whereas um, the this background here with the black line is going to cut. So I want these two to be flattened together. So let's flatten those together so that both the popsicles and the scratch to win are one. Um, it just takes a moment for it to catch up. <laughs> uh, now that it's all one, I'm going to select the square as well and then we're going to align it vertically and horizontally just to make sure everything is all set. Okay, so now that we have all of those done, now what we need are the inside of the circles to print as well. So I'm going to type in try again. Um, that's going to be for four or five of those uh, because I, I want there to be a winner on each one. Yes. <laughs> uh, change the line space. Uh, let's get these pretty close together um, because they're going to fit in that little circle. And it doesn't really uh, matter what the uh, tracking between them is. Okay, we're going to drag it with the arrow, make it smaller. Let's fit this into one of these squares. It needs to be pretty small. Okay, so try again. Right there looks good. Um, I'm going to ch I'm going to change this one. I think to this blue color. 
Um, and then let's duplicate that and put another one here, duplicate again, put a third one, okay, three, three of those here. Let's make, make sure they all line up together. Let's, oop, not that one, excuse me for doing that. Um, let's try that again and make sure they're all lined to the top together. Okay, so those look good. Uh, now we want to take these two, oop, we want to take the two, the two try again layers um, and we're going to duplicate those and then we're going to, oop, sorry about that. We're going to drag those into these bottom circles. Here we go. And uh, for this one here, I'm going to put you win. Uh, so let's type in you win. Ooh, win. There we go. Uh, line spacing again, pretty close together. Sorry, it's not catching up with me today. I think I'll just put uh, negative three in there. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna also change the color of that one this time to this uh, lighter green, okay? Because that's the color of winning green, right? <laughs> okay, uh, let's make this small enough to fit in here and then I'm going to choose those, oh, not the background, sorry. I'm gonna choose text, make sure those are all lined together. Um, actually, these two, I don't want them to be lined with the UN because they're a little bit uh, smaller. So let's move those over. All right, looks good. Okay, now let's change all of those text layers uh, so they'll be printed as well. So click on flatten, choose all of them, and see how it took the cut lines off of them. All right, so that's what it's going to look like underneath the scratch circles. So let's select all of that together flatten it. There is uh, one more thing that we need to do to get this ready in order to make these cuts uh, and the print. Now this is the print part. Obviously the print part is not the same as the scratch off stickers. Um, the scratch off sheets are actually regular sheets of scratch off um, foil paper and those that's what we will cut the circles off of. So we're going to now, now that that's all, you know, together, um, there's another step before we go to print and cut, but first we're going to add this little circle. Now the circle is going to cover up the text. Um, and for this particular one, um, I want to make that circle like uh, pretty small. It's going to be like, I think it was 0.657. Um, for the size and that might even be a little bit too big. So let's see. Let's just kind of adjust this and see what sizing we got. Um, we wanted to cover the pink circle outline that's there. Okay, so a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Now let's zoom in so you can see this. Uh, see how we have that just, I mean, I could see the little pink all around it, but whenever you go to uh, put these onto the sheet, you're actually going to peel them off what you got and stick them on top of the printed paper. So we need six of these. So let's duplicate this um, five times and let's get those stickers lined up onto um, each of these in the to make sure we see what it's gonna look like. Um, yeah, those look pretty good. It doesn't really matter where you put these stickers because when you cut them, they're just gonna cut in one row. They're not gonna cut in place like this because you actually peel them off by hand and put them onto the scratch off cards. Okay, so these six, let's select all of those, okay? And we're gonna put those in a group. And that's our cut layer. So we're going to hide, we're going to group them hide them. 
Okay, so now we have this flattened layer, which is the print, and the square background, which is the cut. We are going to click on Attach. It'll just be a moment while it does that. Um, and I also will put a link for the scratch off paper in the bottom part of the blog post. So if you would like to find these scratch off sheets, you can purchase them on Amazon through the link below. Okay, so now our project is flattened for the print part. The square is the cut and we've attached them. So click on make it. It may take a moment for it to load here as well. Um, once it is, once you have this all set, make sure your printer is loaded with cardstock or whatever you'd like to print the background card on. Um, I just use regular medium cardstock. You can use sticker paper, cardstock, um, whatever kind of material you'd like because the scratch off stickers will actually adhere to pretty much anything. They're just a very thin layer of uh, foil. Okay, so here we go. We're at the print part. So you want to click on continue. And this says send to printer. So you want to do that. Click on send to printer. Wait for the printer dialog menu to open up on the screen. It's just taking a moment today. It seems like everything's taking a lot longer lately. Okay, so when the window opens, uh, the print setup, you wanna make sure that you click Add Bleed to turn it off. We are not adding a bleed to all of these images because we're not cutting them. And then just go ahead and you can use the system dialog if you wanna change the uh, print, um, any of the print settings for your actual printer. Mine are already set up, so I don't need to use a system dialog. Okay, and then you can click however many copies you want. Just make sure your cardstock is loaded and click on print. And from here, I will show you a few of the time-lapse videos of it being printed. And after this, I will show you um, how to cut out the circles for the top of the scratch-offs. Printed off your scratch to win card. Um, it is time to cut out the scratch off sticker circles that will go on top of the little try again and you win circles. Okay, so we don't need this section here now to uh, be printed. So we want to hide that and we want to unhide the group of circles. Now, like I said before, here they are lined up where they would be on that card, but it doesn't matter when we go to cut these. Um, you're just going to click on make it and that's going to put all six of those circles onto one cutting mat. Okay, so then click on continue and from here it will show you the materials that you can choose from. Hold on just one moment. We're still trying to connect. My maker is literally sitting right here next to me. And it does this with the Bluetooth um, lately. I think it's because everyone's using the Wi-Fi and connections throughout the house, you know, with all the kids home and, you know, fun stuff like that. Everyone's home. Um, so things are taking a little bit longer. Okay, so I am going to use my one of my favorites, which is sticker paper. But if you wanted to browse the materials, you could just click on browse and you could find whatever card stock you're using. Um, this would be the one that um, is I use for the cards prior to this. And then there are um, other settings for sticker paper. I just use the regular sticker paper. So we'll click on that. You're going to want to load the sticker paper onto your mat, load the mat into the machine and go ahead and do the cut. And we will check out the video and the photos of our end result to show you exactly how to put these scratch off circles onto your cards. And if you make any of these, please share with us. You can go to Sofonsi on Instagram. And if you want to tag it with 
um, hashtag I'm so fancy. We will definitely take a look at those and we may even feature you on social media. If you are interested in joining our mailing list to get our freebies each week, please be sure to sign up. That's in our blog post and the link is also below. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're able to make some really cool scratch off stickers. Uh, and it, and thank you very much for all of your time and for watching our channel and we will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.